the news and I'm going to give you three major things to remember in your religion, in your way of life, in your path to your maker. I'm going to start with Malachi 3.6. For I, the Lord, do not change. That is mega. If you don't remember that, you'll go to hell. Therefore, you, O children of Jacob, are not consumed. Meaning what? If you can remember that God don't change, you're not going to be destroyed. Yet from the days of your fathers, you have turned away from my statue, all the way from Egypt, and have not kept them, to now. Return to me, and I will return to you. Return to who? Israel. Jacob. Who? The Most High God of Israel. Remember that God don't change. Did God tell you to turn to Jesus and you got to go through Jesus first? No, he didn't tell you back then. And God don't change. He ain't telling you now. That's a lie. Right? Return to me and I will return to you, says the Lord of hosts. There was no Christ as Savior back then that needed to die for your sins. And no Christ need to die for your sins today. That's a lie. How do we know? Number two. Second thing to remember. Most important. Deuteronomy 4.2. You shall not add unto the words which I command you. So they added what? Christ as the Savior. Because that's not in the Old Testament. So the book tells you to do what? Precept upon precept. If it's not in the Old Testament, it should not be in the New Testament. That's what your precept upon precept mean. If, if it doesn't match the Old Testament, it's falsehood. That's why we do precept upon precept. Neither shall you diminish anything from it. You cannot take away the covenant. That is an everlasting binding covenant to the children of Israel. At, uh, Abraham's seed. That you may keep the commandments. Of the Lord your God which I command you. And what is that one of those commandments? You shall not have a God in front of me. And then what did they do? They handed you Christ right? And said you got to go through him. To get to your God. Which means a God is in front of your God. Because they say in Matthew. Christ is a God right? And on the right hand side of the father right? A lie. Because that's not in what the Old Testament that was added and so these things will keep you on your straight and even path where you don't get ever get deceived anymore if it's not in the Old Testament it is a blazing lie it didn't say don't believe in the New Testament but it better match the Old Testament Isaiah 43.10 is the third thing to remember. You are my witnesses, says the Lord, and my servant whom I have chosen, that you may know and believe me. Who is that? The children of Israel. You are God's witnesses. That you may know and believe me. Did he tell you to believe Mark, Matthew, Peter, Paul, John, Jacob, did he tell you to believe that? That you may, what? Know and believe me. Who is me? The God of Israel again. The only voice of reason. If God did not say it, it is a lie. And understand that I am he. Who? God. Before me there was no God formed. So what does the New Testament tell you? That Christ is the firstborn of every creature. Right? Right? And he is in the image of God. And he is God. So what is God saying? There was never no God formed. No God was formed or created. God didn't beget nobody. Because how can God beget anybody? And if it, and it was no God formed. He shall be called Emmanuel. Right? Wonderful counselor. Right? God with us. Right? There was no God formed. And God don't change. Right? And you can't add to God's words. And that's why these three are most important. 
neither shall there be after me. So in the future, right now, God didn't change. You can't add that to God's words because he already commanded that you don't add anything. There is no God formed. Mary had Jesus, but he's no God. He's just a man. I, even I, am the Lord, and beside me there is no Savior. So there was never no God at the right-hand side of our God. Or no Savior doing what? Intercession. Doing intercession for the children of Israel. We don't need intercession. If we don't make it, you're going to go to hell. Twelve. I have declared and have saved and I have showed when there was no strange God among you. Now there is a strange God among us because our forefather said, never said, Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai. And we know that the Bible says over and over again that Christ is a God. And he's a part of the Godhead. And he eventually says that he's the head of the Godhead and God is at his foot. And God is at his foot. The God of Israel is at his feet. It is a lie. It's a paganistic added lie. And we know that our God don't change. Once you know these three things, you cannot be deceived no more. I have declared and have saved. And I have shown and there was no strange God among you. Therefore you are my witnesses again, says the Lord, that I am God. Because why? Why is he saying that, people? Because they changed it, didn't they? And they said, Christ is Lord and Savior. Now, and accept Christ as your personal God and Savior. Lord is God and Savior. No, thank you. Y'all gonna go to hell for that blasphemy. Yeah, before the day was I am he. And there is none. God don't change. Old Testament. If, now, if in the New Testament there's a Savior... That's a bald-faced ass lie that was added. That is why we got the Old Testament connected to the New Testament. So if someone was to change it, they would have to change the whole entire Old Testament. And then God would plague their asses to death. That can deliver out of my hand. And everybody who changed it was plagued to death. There is nobody that can deliver out of my hand. No intercession is going to happen, if you don't know what that means. Christ is not going to intercede for no one. God is already telling you there is no damn Christ. Not as God and Savior. Not as your personal Lord. Y'all got deceived, Christians. I will work and who shall let it. That's now and forever. That was then, now, and forever. So again, recap. God don't change. That's why you not consumed in the fire. Jacob, you children of Jacob, God don't change. You remember that. So now they can't hand you no Christ as Savior. They can't hand you their false gods and all they fake new, uh, uh, what do you call that? I guess they commandments and they um, covenant. Uh, number two, you can't add or subtract from God's words that you keep these commandments. You can't throw it away. You can't say, that's the old Mosaic law. That's an excuse. That ain't what God is saying. He said keep these commandments. That's what God is saying. And don't add or nothing to it. You add it. That's the old Mosaic law. Can't add that bullshit. And then watch. You are my witnesses. Ain't no God was born. There was no God born. And there ain't gonna be no God after God. Before me there is no God born. What do you think form means? You was formed in your mother's womb. There was nobody formed in God's womb. God ain't got no womb. No strange savior. Right? Nobody can deliver. Ain't nobody going to intercede. You're going to pay for all of the stuff that you do. This is Wrap the News.